Hello everyone, this is HTS Yuski here, and in celebration of Heart of the Swarm dropping pretty darn soon, it is about a month and a half away, I've decided to play through the entire StarCraft 2 campaign to refresh myself, so the first game is going to be played here on my main channel, of course, Husky StarCraft, and if you would like to watch the rest of the campaign, it will all be uploaded at youtube.com slash husky, that's just H-U-S-K-Y, there's a link down below, go subscribe there if you'd like to check out the rest, I've already played through the uh, StarCraft 1 campaign and I've played through the Brood War campaign so of course the next logical step is going to be the Wings of Liberty campaign followed by the Heart of the Swarm campaign which of course I can't play just yet but uh, anyways we're gonna be starting a fresh new campaign I know a lot of you haven't played it since the game came out so it is time to refresh our noggins and jump right in so uh, first of all let's turn up the sound Maybe just a little bit. Hopefully that's actually going to be the correct level. And uh, go ahead and start a brand new campaign. We'll just do normal for now because i got to plow through this very, very quickly. They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. Oh, I forgot about this intro. I wonder. Suit sealed and locked. You carry your prison with you. That armor will be your new cell. Make no mistake. War is coming. With all its glory. And all its horror. Mr. Findlay, your freedom awaits. Hell, it's about time. Oh yeah, gotta love me some StarCraft 2. That's, uh, that's bringing me back. It feels like it was so long ago, but really not all that long ago that uh, I was witnessing that cinematic for the first time, getting crazy nerd chills. It gets me every time. So here we are, Marsara, Fringe World, Dominion Space, Caprulu Secker, recolonized in 2502. And uh, I believe we're going to be running into Jimmy here. 
he is indeed at Joey Ray's bar. Can't say that I blame him. He's uh, he's had it pretty rough. I have heard that the books for StarCraft II are pretty darn good. All right, here we go. And in other news today, Emperor Arcturus Mang held a press conference commemorating the end of the so-called Brood War some four years ago. Our own Kate Lockwell was on the scene. Emperor, the threat of a new Zerg invasion is still very real, but instead of expanding our fleets, you've squandered trillions on hunting down has-been rebels like Jim Rayner. Jim Rayner represents a clear and present threat to this dominion. He is an unscrupulous, lawless revolutionary bent on spreading fear and dissension across the sector. He and his ragtag band of miscreants have instigated open rebellion across six separate worlds. Troops ready yet. Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Backwater Station is the center of Dominion Logistics on Masara. Destroying Dominion Authority here will cripple Emperor Menk's operations throughout the planet. All right, well, our new unit is the Marine. I'm sure they're going to have lots of helpful tips Adjutant, on how to use it. What do you got for me? Dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of Backwater Station. This has become the hub for all operations on Marsara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city, and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengsk, It'll cripple him on this planet. Prep my ship. All right, so our ship is all prepped. Current mission, Liberation Day. Of course, this is the very first mission for the StarCraft II campaign. And if you're skipping ahead, just remember that uh, all the other games will be uploaded to my second channel, youtube.com slash husky. I'm going to attempt, attempt being the key word, to get all these out before Heart of the Swarm drops. I feel like I may have waited just a little bit too long as uh, there's like 15, 16, 17 hours of content, something like that, depending on if, uh, if I mess up any of the missions or not which is a distinct possibility. I'm also setting a handicap for myself, which I will explain a little bit in the uh, in the series here as we continue on. All right, boys. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. But uh, basically... Wait, are you, are you guys going to tell me anything else? Hang on, hang on. We got we to make sure... That uh, the gameplay. Let's see, graphics. Are we? Are we all? Are we all maxed out? Got to make sure we have the full-on experience. These are high, ultra, ultra, 3D. All right, so that is all good to go. And let's see. I think that that is uh, gameplay. I want to make sure that we. Oh, there we go. There we go. I knew something was uh, messed up. We gotta set that to faster, man. There are tutorial videos awaiting your review. Oh, it's a little doggy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. All right, I, I, I don't need no tutorial videos. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. Sounds like a plan. All right, so there's the uh, the Marine there. Anyways, the handicap I'm setting for myself Radio in control. this game is that, uh, you know, don't later... Don't oh. go up that road. Okay. You can count on me. I won't. I won't go up that road. But uh, anyways, when we are picking the abilities, the new units, the new research, I'm going to pick the opposite of what I think the best choice is. So I'm going to attempt to make the worst choices throughout the entire the campaign plan. just to add that little extra bit of creativity, that little extra bit of fun. I'll show you what I mean later. Time to man up. All right. Oh, time to man up, he says, which uh, is definitely true. Descent will only slow our progress. 
Commander, destroying the Dominion holoboards will help incite rebellion against the Dominion. I am all about uh, inciting Ready revolts down. within the Dominion, so. I'm getting mighty tired of seeing the next face. Blast it. Blast it. I do have to say that Robert Clotworthy, the voice of Jim Rayner, one of the nicest guys I have ever met in the professional world. He uh, he is so amazing. He loves the fans. My family. This is starting to look ugly. Commander, a large Dominion force is gathering in the center of town. Then it's time to call in that special delivery we talked about. Raiders roll. Apparently that special delivery is sending Marines to their death, so that was that was a great play. Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. I'm the man. Work hard. Stand proud. We must all sacrifice for the glory. Yeah, not so Raiders tough now, are you a hologram of Minsk? Time to man up. Alright, let's see if there's uh, if there's anything down here. Your freedoms must be protected. Boom, boom, boom! This is bad. All right, any more, any more little holograms around here? Sounds like a plan. That I got to be taken out. Oh, there's one over there. Finally, there's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. We got a runner. They're shooting civilians. Move in. Look, look, Raider, I know you want me to move in, but uh, we kind of missed a hologram over here. So we got we to gotta go grab that. Look at him. He's next to a fancy little podium. Okay, so we got these guys cowering over here. And if you wonder why they look so small, remember that uh, the, the Marine suits are actually giant power armor, which I think people kind of forget a lot of the time. Whoa! Thank you, Rainer. We knew you wouldn't forget us. There's more people still being held up ahead. I'll see to them. Marshal Rainer. Been a while since we saw you around here. We're with you, Raiders! Oh, there they go! There they go. Let's do this, guys. Let's boogie. This is a restricted area. Which surgeons are under arrest. We got your back, Rainer. I kind of love how they have all of a sudden Molotovs. I am okay with that, man. They are actually doing a surprising amount of damage. I, I feel like they didn't even need me, is uh, is the truth here. All right, well, they do have those uh, crazy sirens going on, but mission number one, a complete success, I feel like. I didn't think we could fight them, but we can. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Remember, Minx can only control you if you let him. Good job, Jimmy. Good job, Jimmy. All right, so we got that one done. I'll go ahead and do a second mission for this video. Again, the rest of the missions will be on my second channel. But uh, for now, we got we to gotta see if Jimmy's sulking a little bit. But I feel like he's doing pretty good. He's hanging in there. He's saving people. And back to the bar. wanted man in the sector you ain't that hard to find I had to see it for myself little Jimmy Rayner the people's hero <laughs> Tychus Finley <laughs> nice suit Pays to be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model 
see the smell. <laughs> so to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for them. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tychus? Partners, then. 60-40. 70-30. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. All right, mission number two, and we're already looking for alien artifacts. So uh, we'll go. We'll go ahead and uh, chat around over here. See what's going on with the old telly. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from the UNN studios on Core Hall. We've got a breaking story for you. Let's go live to our own Kate Lockwell on the fringe world of Marsara. Kate. Thanks, Donnie. Rebel Jim Rayner has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Kate, I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talked to seem really encouraged Thanks, by Kate. the... You heard it here first. Jim Rayner terrorizing the locals on Marsala. When we return, are your kids using skin pads? Keep talking, pal. I'm just getting started. My, my kids are definitely using stim packs. That, uh, that is for sure. Sarah. Sometimes I think it would have been better if you just died that day. What, you think? You think? It wasn't the, the, the like, 10 billion people that she killed that, uh, that cued you into that? Call me curious, but... You get out. Well, I busted out of my cryo freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water, made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get up, buddy, with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. Alright, we'll go ahead and check out uh, mission number dose, alien artifacts, Thanks I'm sure. Actions, Masara is now in a state of open revolt against Arturus Minsk. Ex-convict Tychus Findlay has revealed the Dominion came to Marsara to excavate an alien artifact. Seizing the artifact will strike another blow against the Dominion and generate funds from selling it to Findlay's mysterious contacts. Alright, I mean, that sounds pretty legit. So, what could possibly go wrong? Anything special? Keep your shirt on, son. Dominion engineer's been digging out here for months. See that crane? They're getting ready to move the artifact they found off-world. Well, I'll be damned. See? You gotta have a little more faith, Jimmy. All right. Time to give the Dominion a wake-up call. Let's smash that face and haul that baby out of there. It's like an actual, literal baby. We are going in. This is the baby rescue mission. Current mission, the Outlaws. Alright, we gotta, we gotta go save the alien artifact, which uh, I honestly don't remember what they do. It's been a while. I, I think you used it to fight Kerrigan. I mean, that's really, you can just assume that everything you do is an attempt to fight Kerrigan in some way. As, uh, you know, she kind of kicked royal ass in the uh, Brood War campaign. So, if you haven't seen that, um, I actually have the playlist for both that and the StarCraft 1 on my second channel as well. So, if you got, if you got to get caught up on your StarCraft lore... Number one, you could read the books, or number two, you could just sit back and watch me be really bad at video games. I mean, really, the choice is yours. Ah, in the rear. Not enough minerals. 
All right, let's see what we got here. Destroy the Dominion base. That's my objective. Additional tutorials are available for you to review. All right, we got some more tutorials. We'll need a lot more Marines before we take on the Dominion outpost. Train them up at the barracks. While we're at it, extra SCVs will help us harvest minerals faster. Train them up at the command center. Don't worry, Jimmy. My macro is in tip-top shape. I even got my depot started. I take I take my uh, my Starcraft missions very very seriously. SCV ready. Not enough minerals. Are right, we gonna set the rally point over there? Not enough minerals. And there we go. Oh, what what can I even build? Ah, medics. Yes, please. I'm gonna grab that gas ASAP. And remember that uh, basically the premise of this is when I start unlocking new units, new abilities, I'm going to pick the ones that I think are the worst. So that should basically be the opposite of what I did when the game first came out because I think I picked what I thought was best and I completely destroyed because I understand the game, you know, at least at a basic level. So uh, I was able to, to make the right choices there. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what I end up with. I uh, actually have no idea how that's going to play out. But of course they don't let me get an orbital command because that would be that'd be a little too easy. Oh my god, some of these patches have so many minerals, like two thousand on that one. Alright, well for now we're just basically getting uh Marines. I'm gonna add on this tech lab here. So we'll do that and get the old tech lab. There you go. That means that the uh, the medics should be on the way soon. Let's go ahead and build another barracks. Just to just to just be feel good about ourselves, you know. We're making medics, we're making marines. And how much are medics? Uh, seventy-five fifty. Quite a quite a pretty penny. Although I will say in StarCraft Two, medics are way OP because their heal actually has a range, whereas in Brood War it was like a melee attack, but not really an attack because it healed. But uh, either way, the fact that they there's range with the awesome unipathing that StarCraft has, yeah, they're pretty good. They're they're like really good actually. I probably should have built another supply depot. These cost two. Is that uh, is that? Yeah, yeah. Medics cost two. That'll do it. That'll do it. All right. So you are just gonna build that and go down there. I want to see. Can I get a reactor? Nope. Just a tech lab, which uh, I'm not too happy about. And no research from those either. So that's that's a thing to keep in mind. Not enough minerals. Looks like the depot's finally done. You go over there. I think we're ready. I mean, honestly, the amount of damage you can do with uh, with Marines and Medics is ridiculous. Hey, hey, money! I will, uh, I will take that, and I will invest it into more barracks. We we got we're gonna have a lot of barracks going on here. Actually, I just realized. Commander, the Dominion is attacking the Rebel base to the southwest. Good. That'll keep the Dominion off our backs. Those folks need our help, Tigers. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. All right, well, let's go. Uh, let's go see what they have to offer. Although I gotta say, I, I might be siding with Tychus on this one, but we'll see. We'll see just how friendly these guys are. You guys sure are a welcome sight. We're with you. Just tell us where you want us. Welcome aboard, boys. All right, let's move out and take it to. Them. We've got to clear this area. Dominion can go to hell. Rainer's the man. It's Rainer's boy. Kick the Dominion's ass. Who are all these people talking to me? Oh my god. They're uh, they're a bunch of chatty Cathy's, that's for sure. All right. Well, I think uh, I think we're going to be okay on the amount of guys I have now. As uh, thankfully I properly prop <laughs> Properly prepared for this because proper prior planning prevents poor production guys. My mom said it to me when I left for college And I'm gonna live by it Looks like we got some more money over there. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on? How'd they sneak past me? We gotta we gotta go save this base Let's also get some medics in there Because medics are always quite nice. You should probably actually rally down here. All right, there you go Try it try and buy as much time as you can you are so dead, buddy. Get that base. You are so, so, so dead. 
All right, there we go. Thankfully, medics are OP as hell, so we can go this way now. All right, we cleaned all that out. I hey, don't. Bad guys are that away. Okay, thank, thank you. Warning, Dominion Hellions approaching. All right, no, no worries on the Hellions. I got this. The doctor is in. All right, is this, uh, is this where you're keeping the babies? I'm looking for the babies. Nice job cleaning up that bunker, Jimmy. The doctor is in. Between your boys and my skills, we are gonna go a long way together. The doctor is in. You know, I'm, I'm kind of actually realizing that from, uh, from an outsider standpoint, Jim Rayner actually is just a baby snatcher. So, and he's like a clingy boyfriend. So I don't know, guys. We gotta we gotta keep an eye on him. We'll uh, we'll see how well he actually does here. See if he see if he really does the right thing. Oh, SCBs, you are so dead. You are so so dead. Gotta get gotta get some fancy stutter step micro going. Gotta keep my APM up. Here you go. Here's a stutter step. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's great. That's right there. All right. Is that uh, is that all I had to do? Crane controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Beautiful. Now let's reel that sucker in and get out of here. All right, piece number one. It always kind of reminded me of the, uh, of, uh, in the fifth element, those little statue things they had that they, at the end, they bring them to the temple place. Uh, yeah. They always reminded me of that. It's just we're going to be constructing a giant one. But anyways, guys, if you want to continue seeing the uh, StarCraft 2 campaign, follow me, youtube.com slash husky, as the rest of them will not be on my main channel because my main channel is still mostly for 1v1 competitive play with, with some other stuff sprinkled in. All right? There, there's a couple other videos that pop up here and there. But uh, as far as campaign playthroughs, they tend to be on my second channel, youtube.com slash husky. There's a link down below, or I'll just put it on the screen or something like that, and you can click there and go subscribe. All right, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.